The following video uses the word basically, over exceedingly, and teaches piracy for education purposes. Viewer discretion is highly advised. What's up everybody, the Freak Tide here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to use the piratebay.org. If you do not know what the piratebay.org is, then basically it is a site where you can get any type of software, any type of file, any type of anything basically. And they have them all done here, all audio, video, applications, games, other, just basically anything. And I'm going to be teaching you how to do that today. So first off, what you're going to want to do is, you're going to want to have to download a, a torrent grabber, basically. Um, it's a program that downloads torrents for you. And there's one that basically everybody uses, it's called uTorrent. So first off, you're going to want to go to the next tab, or new tab or whatever, and you're going to want to type in www.utorrent.com. It will bring you to this, and basically you just click get uTorrent, it's completely free, and then you're going to want to click free download, I'm not going to do this because I already have it. So after that, you just follow the setup, it's very quick, very easy, it sets it up on your computer. After that's all done, you're going to want to go straight back to the piratebay.org. It says .se, I'm not too sure what that is, because the Pirate Bay has been shut down many times for their pirating acts, but the thing is, they can't officially shut down the Pirate Bay because the Pirate Bay is in a different country. And you guys are probably wondering, oh, so, you know, what if I get caught and stuff's illegal and I'm just going to get arrested and stuff. Well, the thing is, you're not going to get caught because everybody does it. And why would they specifically target you when there's people that actually are the ones pirating, like actually cracking the software for you to use? You're just leeching off of them, basically. So let's get started with on doing that once you're done downloading uTorrent. So, how to pirate a software. I usually go straight to the top 100, which is right here, just click this. And there's many things. There's, of course, porn, because everybody's interested in that, but we're, there's applications, Windows, Mac, iPad, iPhone, video, movies, music videos, just anything, audio, games, um, ebooks, just just everything possible. And usually I come on here for applications, so I'm just going to show you how this works. I'm going to click on this. Now it gives you the list of the top 100 downloads on the site. The basic thing I want you to focus on right now is this side right over here now this side over here is basically using cedars and leechers now cedars and leechers there's a difference between the two first off cedars are the ones that are seeding the program for people to use actually so the more cedars the better because the more cedars that means the more cedars are the cedars are the uploaders, basically. The leechers are the bad ones. The more leeches you have, the worse it is. Because the leechers are the ones that stop the seeding. And if they're not seeding, that means that they're not uploading. So, therefore, that nobody can use it. So, basically, you want a, a torrent that has more cedars than leechers. So, you always want to pay attention to more cedars than leechers. So now that I've gone over the cedars and leechers on the Pirate Bay, let's actually pirate a software or a file. So the very first thing I want you guys to download from the Pirate Bay is WinRAR. WinRAR is a basic for downloading files on the internet or pirating. So WinRAR should be on the top 100, the third on the top 100, or any one below that. So just click find WinRAR and click the link. It should redirect you to this page. Now once you get to this page, what I want you guys to do 
the most important thing I want you guys to check out is the file size, the quality, the uploaded date, and of course the satyrs and leashers. The most important thing in my eyes for pirating a software is the comments of what people have said about it. It tells you if it's not working, it tells you if it's actually okay file to download, it tells you if it has a virus, it just, it, all the comments are very very important to read and the people are usually always telling the truth. So after that's all been said and done, what I want you to do is click get this torn. Now this should pop up. If this little window does not pop up, what I want you to do is right click on this, click copy link address, go back to uTorrent or BitTorrent in my case, and go up to file, then go down to add torrent from URL. Now it should just copy it on its own. If it does, just click OK and it'll add it to this. Now, if it's just normally, you want to click Get This Torrent and Launch Application. It'll send it directly to BitTorrent or uTorrent in your case. So, it should pop up here. Now, uTorrent and BitTorrent have the same type of layout. It has the name, the, so the file size, the status of how far it's been down downloading the health of it, the download speed, and of course your upload speed of you uploading the file for other people to use. It also tells you the estimated time of when it, your torrent should be done downloading. Now this bar down here will tell you a lot too of the information. Um, it'll tell you the peers that you're connected to, the speed of it, and any type of information that you want to know about it, it's down here in this bar. And once you're done downloading that, I want you to right click on WinRAR right here and go up to open containing folder. Now it should open this little window. What I want you to do is click WinRAR 64-bit. Six, now 64-bit is for newer computers, 32-bit is for Vista or older computers. So 64-bit, since I'm assuming you have a newer computer, just click 64-bit. Just click yes. Now this window should pop up, just click install, it's very simple. After that's done, after that's all done in setting up and installing, I want you to click this registry entry and just double click on it and it, this should pop up and just click yes and it'll add it to your registry on your computer so you can use it the full version of it now there's also a lot of other installations that are on the pirate bay and some of which can be actually very confusing so if you guys ever have any questions of how to install something I can probably give you the answer to it because I've I've gotten a lot of free programs over the past couple of years because I've been a, a major pirate and I probably took it a little bit too far but I'm starting to cool down with that and just let me let me know if you guys have any questions upon this because I can help you guys out and that's that wraps up today's tutorial so thank you guys for watching this is the freak cut and I'll catch you guys next time what's up you guys sorry this was such a confusing tutorial for all of you I will make sure to make this a better tutorial for all of you to understand soon. I will be making more tutorials in the Pirate Bay on installing games, music, anything. If there's anything that you guys want to request for me to do a tutorial on, please let me know. I will be happy to do it for you. But for the time being, peace out guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And then again, sorry for the confusion. Bye guys.